Okay, into it. Away, guys. Morning all. How's the uh, injury status for your team? It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, uh, we've obviously got Carl, who's, who's got a um, slight left shoulder issue, so he's he's going to stay with us and, and work through the week. And Aiden Ross comes in, so it's pretty exciting for him. Magnificent to see another another guy come in and get a taste of it. Um, Albie, Adi, and Tupo are, are really tracking superbly, and they've taken more more and more part of training as the as the week's gone on. So. Um, it'd be good to see them um, start to start to put more into it as well as we build the week. So they're going along pretty well. D Dalton's got his calf. And that'll just be it's a that's a slow burn. So he'll um, he'll build that up. He's in good care. Nothing from last night. Well, just uh, Damien. Damien's uh, Damien's knuckle. He had a stubborn uh, dislocation on his ring finger, which probably explains why he hasn't managed to put a ring on it yet. But uh, <laughs> it's uh, it it was uh, looking looked a bit nasty. But obviously he went off and uh, had it had it dealt with at hospital, and and uh, there's no break in it, which is superb. So it's strapped up and just deals with the the swelling, and he just have to try and keep it straight. What, what was Tupo's injury? Tupo Vai. Yeah. No, he's, he's just building back in from uh, from his um, his super campaign. Yeah. Was that Dalton as a result of that big hit he copped? Pups? Uh, sorry, sorry, um, Damien. Was that as a result of the big hit he copped? No, his, his knuckle was nowhere near that yes. contact. So <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. It's was just uh, just part of the game. So it was, it was later on. What's come out of I guess review? I'm sure you've watched the game again. What, what have you noticed this morning? Uh, yeah, look, um, there's uh, there's obviously been a fair bit of chat about the stuff that that we've identified already. You, you know, talking about physicality and and whatnot, but uh, the physicality was there. We, we we're physical as well, and um, I think it's more about just winning the race. So beating beating the opposition to the breakdown, doing good decisions and execution as a ball carrier, supporters anticipating and getting into that breakdown. You know, if I was playing us, I'd be I'd be pigging into that space as well. And, and wanting to, to slow that type of ball down and, and not give us that quick ball to play off and, and show our skill set. You know, we, we created a lot of opportunities and took some really good stuff. I thought Dave Avili uh, did, did a really good job at that 12. He, he was straight and, and, and square and you saw off um, you know, one of those early line-out drives, a, a lovely executed play where um, everyone did their job and he, he delivered a lovely pass to Bowden, which went to George and then he he delivered it to Geordie, so um, seeing those sorts of things are really nice when we switch play later on and, and Shannon did a great job on the on the short side. Nice pass to Cody who was square and that released Dave coming round for George to finish off. So we've seen some guys starting to, to get into the rhythm of playing. A few guys hadn't played for a while, so um, really nice to see them start to build their innings. Brad, one of those guys that hasn't played for a while would be Brody. Yeah. What, did, what do you feel here, or how much progress do you think he made towards becoming what you need him to be again? Oh, superb. He's been great in camp. He, um, he inputs it at really appropriate times, and, and what he, he says is spot on. He um, been two months since he's played, eh? And uh, and that's that's his first game in, in New Zealand for a while, and first Test match since World Cup, eh? So, so for him, that's that's just a really positive trajectory against um, big athletes, big bodies, so you got plenty of work work done in the middle of the, the line-out drives and um, scrums were, were well contested, so it, it's just really positive for him. He's a superb player and and uh, it's great to have him around. Um, Bowden Barrett's, Barrett's eye looks like it's got a fair few stitches in it this morning. Yeah, he's taken a few knocks, hasn't he? It's good that he's done most of his cover shoots before the season started. So he's um, he's uh, his, his face is will will respond. Yeah, he's good uh, good bit of stitching there in the in the right eyelid. Um, so um, some handy work done there, but he he's fine. So um, he'll be all right when they come out. Bit of a different question here. There's obviously a bit of fallout following Fiji choosing not to wear the vaccinate Fiji jerseys last night. Do you think there's more that the All Blacks could be doing to send a message back to Fiji as well, um, given that we've got this platform, or do you think the job is just to go up there and play r
on what we need to be doing and um, obviously aware of, of COVID being a really tough um, a, a tough gig for the for the Fijians over there so aware of that but I'm not aware of any of, of what you're talking about but for us it's certainly um, focused on our game but being aware of the issues that are around the world and I've uh, been really grateful that we are we are playing here in New Zealand and getting to, to represent our country on our soil. Has the competitiveness of Fiji, despite the scoreline, will that force an adjustment of your plans for the, for the second test in terms of the rotation of your squad? Well, I, I don't know. It's a great question for selectors. Um, for us uh, as coaches, it, it, like I said earlier, it's great that a number of guys who haven't played for a while have, have now had a game and, and we've worked the whole squad into to putting the jersey on, all of those that have been available. So... Um, I don't know what the what the plans are around that. Uh, we'll know in due course. But what I see is is uh, in excess of 30 guys ready to put the jersey on and, and, and go hard this week. So the competition's out for um, for places outstanding. You make that many changes and still look at the team that, that, that ran out and you say, well, geez, that's a that's a top line side. So um, we're in a pretty good space there. With the size of the Fijian backline, you know. Especially like some of their big tackles. I mean, is that something you talk about before the game? Is there the knowledge like you, you mentioned before that that try where Davy flipped the ball off and then there was a, another pass out? But I guess you know you, you're doing that. But I guess in the knowledge that you're going to get absolutely cleaned out as soon as you let the ball go. <laughs> um, is there a question there? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, is that something you guys talk about? I guess the, you know the, the knowledge that that's you know to expect something you know perhaps more than any other opposition? Oh, well, look, the, the, um, the intent, uh, the athletic ability and the, and the physicality of, of the Fijian players in, in, on the field in attack and defence, uh, that, that's not a surprise to us. You know, these, these guys are outstanding athletes. You see the size of them. They're, they're, they're big, athletic, uh, well-conditioned um, players who a large number of them are top players for their clubs in Europe so they're playing uh, high level footy and they and they're playing in a test match so that they're going to bring that physicality and, and uh, that intent and and as do we I'm sure that they're they're uh, nursing some bruised bodies as well and um, and are also looking forward to getting back into it uh, in Hamilton but for us, there's no surprises in that. It's a test match, and everybody lifts their game for the All Blacks, don't they? And uh, and it's a great opportunity for them to to represent Fiji, and uh, and and open their innings here in New Zealand. So um, it's an exciting week ahead. Do you think, given especially what they did the first 50, 60 minutes, a team like Fiji warrants more games against top teams like like the All Blacks? <laughs> Well, you're getting in the political space. That's uh, that's that's sort of above my pay grade. But I, I think that uh, personally, I just think that everybody um, playing as 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 many games as possible is a great thing. So um, right here and now, we're focused with a with a series that's that's in New Zealand, and uh, where we're getting to play Fiji. We just played Tonga. We saw Samoa playing against Tonga last night. New Zealand Māori sides had a game. Um, I think it's a great festival to celebrate instead of um, delving into the political parts of, of, of should there be more or should there be less. I mean, the calendar's a hugely complicated area and um, right here and now we're playing and these nations are playing and it should be celebrated.